Hey, this is Sarge here at C4 Defense, and today we're going to compare the Henry Big Boy X 357 lever action versus the Rossi R92 357 lever action. Before we get started, let's go ahead and put some on steel. Now, as you can tell right there, I was shooting that with 38 Special. After we do the closer look, I'll go ahead and run some 357 Magnum through them. You can go ahead and thank the ammo shooters for, for me having to run 38 Special through it in the beginning. But like I said, these are both good guns. They're in a little bit different budget, a little bit different price bracket, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at both of them. Now, the Henry Big Boy Model X and the Rossi R92 are both lever action guns. They're both chambered in 357 and 38 Special. Now remember, we can run 38 Special in a 357, but not the other way around. The Henry has a 17.4 inch barrel, while this this Rossi has a 20 inch barrel. So, like I said, 17.4 and 20 inch in this one. The Henry Big Boy X has a black synthetic stock, where the Rossi M92 has a wood stock. Now the Henry is 36.3 inches overall length. The Rossi is 37. The Henry has a 14 inch length of pull as well as the Rossi. The Henry is from their Provide and Protect series. Reason being is because in 357 you can go out and shoot game, you can protect your home, and they added a few things that the Rossi doesn't have, including this M-lock slot, two M-lock slots, the pick rail, and the swivel mounts. And both of them have a blued st uh, steel barrel. The Henry it has a 5 8 thread at the end in case you want to add a muzzle device or a suppressor. The Rossi does not. Now, as far as sights, bear with me. This isn't something I normally do with this camera setup, but the Henry has the fiber optic sights with the rear being adjustable, and the Rossi has the buckhorn sights. They're not my favorite, but they're adjustable for, for elevation, but not for windage. The, and it has a brass bead at the front. The Henry is drilled and tapped for an optic or a scope mount. The Rossi is not. The sight radius, oh, excuse me. The sight radius on the Henry is 13 and a quarter and it is 16 and a quarter on the Rossi. And one thing that the Rossi have that the, the Henry doesn't is a little safety on the top. They both have a large hammer, easy to get to. The Henry has a medium size lever loop and the Rossi has a small loop. They both have blued steel barrels. The Henry is seven rounds while the Rossi, because of the 20 inch barrel, this one has a 10 round capacity. The, they are both side fed. They have a side gate on them but the Henry you can also load from the tube if you desire to. And then as far as weight, the big boy weighs 7.3 pounds where the Rossi weighs only six pounds. The, as far as fit and finish, the Henry is much smoother, much slicker. It's just a higher quality gun. While the Rossi is more of an entry level, it's not a bad gun at all. I'm not gonna say that it is, but it is just a little more plain it's a little more budget friendly and when I got this it was very inexpensive but now not so much the MSRP on the Henry is a thousand dollars good luck finding it at that right now maybe a little bit later it'll come back down to the normal price the Rossi is probably around anywhere from six to eight hundred bucks right now they used to be a little cheaper I got mine for under 500 and now they're they've gone up quite a bit 
So there's a little bit of difference um, as far as fit and finish. There's a lot more accessories available for the Henry Big Boy X. And like I said before, it's got the pick rail, it's got the M-lock slots. You can do a lot with this, especially if you're in a restricted state, like say you can't have an AR or some type of semi-automatic. You can really trick one of these out, which is, that is what's gonna be in the third video that we shoot on this, is this one all tacked out. But let's go ahead and put some fuel on steel out of each of these. Now there's some of that 357 Magnum we've been waiting on. This gun, due to the weight and the size, handles that 357 fantastic. And the side loading gate makes it quick and easy to reload. Now I have tamed it just a little bit with some 38 Special. And in this package, it's like shooting a 22. This is perfect for new shooters and getting them used to a larger gun. Now let's throw seven more rounds of 357 in it and get ready to shoot some cans. I guess it'd help if I put out some cans. Boom, got it. Got that one. Got that one. Now let's hit the head. Bam. Yep. This is hitting right where we aim it. Hey, I almost forgot to thank my buddy David and my other buddy David for giving me some 357 and some 38 Special to shoot these videos. Now let's run some 357 through the Although these sights take a little bit to get used to, you can still hit anything that you want to. And even being lighter, it still handles the 357 recoil pretty well. Now let's put 10 more rounds of 38 Special into this Rousey R92. Well, guess I better fix that target. Yeah, this gun is super tame with 38 Special. And it's still just as accurate. Now, although this is a more budget friendly entry level gun, it is still super fun to shoot. Seems like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. Now let's load up 10 more rounds of full power 357 to shoot the cans. Boom, got it. Oh. Kinda got it. Did I miss? Didn't miss that one. What in the world? Well. Ah, okay. Shot it three times. Now let's put these last five. I mean four, on the head. Bam. Yep. This hits right where we need it to. Now, as you can tell, you can hit whatever you want to hit with either of these lever actions. Now, whether you choose the Henry Big Boy X 357 or the Rossi R92 357, you can Tame both of these down to 38 special if you need to. We can shoot different loads in them, whether we're gonna go hunting, whether we're protecting our home, whether we're just target shooting. They're in a little different price bracket. And as you can tell, the Henry is much more refined than the Rossi. The Rossi at one point was a budget entry, but with the way things have gone up, the MSRP on the Henry is a thousand. Good luck finding it for that. The MSRP on this Rossi when I got it was right around 500 bucks. 
I don't know really what they are right now. They're probably 700 plus. So everything's changed just a little bit, but this is still gonna be the more budget friendly option. And this is gonna be for when you love the finer things. So there we go. See you on the range. Congratulations for making it to the end of the video. Smash that subscribe button if you like what you saw. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Smash that subscribe button anyway. If you want to find out more information about this or other products, follow us on Facebook. Check out our Instagram and our Twitter as well. If you want to see one of my favorite videos, click here. If you want to see videos from my buddies, Gizzard Gary, The Gun Snob, and Obnoxious One, smash here. See you on the range.